party at Cheese Whiz, and uh, that's probably five years ago. And um, sure looked like a star to me right from the get-go. Wonderful stage presence and exciting performer, brilliantly talented, original material, and it was such a mind sticker that as soon as I got the um, first uh, recorded work, by Lisa, uh, it became um, a household theme song and has been ever since. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Lisa Jackson rules. <laughs> That's true. Can you describe the uh, experience of being at a Lisa Jackson concert? I think that uh, you have that kind of energy that occurs when um, you've got a sort of peer group fan base. I think that uh, Lisa draws intelligent, a lot of times, uh, performers. Um, I think that um, the uh, fan base very faithful, quite attractive, good looking people, and uh, always happy as clams because uh, Lisa Jackson always brings it. <laughs> always brings it. Oh yeah. Uh, do you think labeling Lisa a trans rocker will have a positive or negative effect? Well, I think that um, anything that uh, you want to label Lisa Jackson's going to be uh, a positive effect because I think that Lisa Jackson is a very positive bit of energy. So um, label notwithstanding, I think Lisa will do proud, whatever you want to call her. Do you think America's ready for Lisa Jackson in the mainstream? I think, you know, we make that happen. I don't know necessarily that that's uh, hardwired into society. I think that uh, people have to take uh, the world where they want it to go. And uh, I think that uh, Lisa's got the kind of presence and, and talent. I mean, Lisa's got the goods and uh, the determination and genuinely uh, believe that Lisa can do anything she damn well pleases. And what America is ready for or not ready for is going to be at Lisa's call. <laughs> What do you think the music message is, and do you think it can affect um, like just everyday people who aren't gay or trans? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that um, probably the best target in life, rather than success, which is a moving target, uh, best target's probably significance, and by that what I mean is that you amplify the realization of your dream to the broadest possible audience so some kid somewhere that you never meet sees you can do it and maybe they can too. So I think that um, Lisa's a perfect precedent for that and I think that anybody who wants to live their own life um, uh, will see better license from that. I think you always see that with performance, uh, with performers who are, are bringing something new to uh, to the entertainment industry. It's just it's a natural. How do you think Lisa has evolved musically and personally? Oh, <laughs> spectacular! Absolutely spectacular. Better every time I see her. Just stronger, more professional, her sense of timing, the material, the way she delivers the stuff, it's superb. Absolutely, it's superb. Um, I, I can't call myself impartial because I'm a big fan, but that's what I see and it certainly seems to me like uh, the audience around me um, are uh, equally big fans of hers and the audiences keep getting bigger, so whatever's going on there must be going in the right direction. Do you see potential for a trans movement like there was a gay movement? Oh, I think it's already very much, uh, very much happening. Uh, my new toy is uh, Tranny Chasers, and the name uh, Trannies, um, very recent, hasn't even gotten into uh, the contemporary dictionary. So um, it's certainly um, it's up for grabs, and it's going to you know it's going to go where it's taken, and I can't think of anybody better to take it the right place than Lisa Jackson.
she certainly gives it um, she certainly gives it a voice and she gives it intelligent material and yes please <laughs> yes please so what is your definition of a transsexual uh, I think that it's um, somebody who's um, not necessarily committed to the gender with which they were born and um, wants to um, make their own person and uh, the gender spe specification is uh, by their call. But you know, I think that probably under the heading of alternative lifestyle, which I, I suppose transgender would be, uh, in my humble opinion, um, if you don't take the responsibility of having a so-called alternative lifestyle, um, you run the risk of falling into the hole at the end of the experience, being the mystery guest in your own lifetime. I think we really have to learn as much as we can about ourselves during the time that we have on this earth. Uh, what is your advice to Lisa? Uh, just keep doing what you're doing, baby. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're like a thousand colleges for me. I, I, I can only say that um, by far, by far, uh, a, a central consideration for all performers, I think, is to get your broadest possible audience. I think that it's, I, I, I think that it's your responsibility to just keep pushing it and get your audience as big as you can possibly get it. Just keep going. Work. Kind of a Broadway guy, but he made this really cool, like, 